If you want to create and sell a membership program or a subscription program as part of your passive income goals, it's really easy to do this in Thrivecart. All you need to do is navigate to the course section to create a new course and simply follow these steps. The first thing is to give it a name that's relevant to what you want to offer. In this case, I'm going to call it a membership program. You can substitute this for subscription, membership, monthly membership, any type of membership you want. Um, the type of membership is not important. It's the actual name that you give it. The second part is you need to have a description in there and this is where you will say um, this membership you're going to get access to a catalog of XYZ and each month more content will be added or something to that effect. As you scroll down here you put in your contact email address, choose your layout and we're off to the races. Okay now you might be wondering how do you turn a course into a membership? It's super easy. Think about it logically. Um, let's first start with the uh, module one. Okay, we're going to call this um, membership program. And we're going to have a number of lessons. Looks like my internet is paused for a second. I'll just save that. must be having a problem here in my area. Hang with me. Um, let's go back. I think I've been on the internet now for like 12 hours today. <laughs> so this is probably running out of my brain power and also my uh, space with my son being in the house. So we'll try that one more time. We'll just exit and go back into it. Okay, where are we? Edit, add a lesson. Um, welcome to the XYZ program. And then you would create a program welcome video. The next part is you would say, perhaps, depending on what you want to do, um, I always find it's useful to put in some sort of schedule of our weekly calls and what I really love doing um, I'll see if I can get Calendly to work here at the moment while I'm on this call inside the schedule if you have Calendly or if you have a zoom link you could actually embed it into there by using the HTML clip it's very very easy in here another part of admin might be um, book a one-to-one -one consultation and in this section, I would recommend you put in your, your Calendly link with a payment option for people to purchase a session with you. That's really easy. The next one you might have here in the admin, admin and F, FAQ, create another lesson. And then what would be another one? Okay, another one would be resources. Uh, one last one for the for good times, Facebook group. Join the XYZ Facebook group. Okay, now you're done. Excellent. So let's just call this the introduction, the admin part of your course. Um, we will make this instantly available. Now, some people want to control when content is dripped out, which means that when someone signs up, they don't get access to everything. If that is important to you, you need to bundle up the content under modules um, that you want it to be dripped. So you can't have a lesson in different places being dripped. You need to bunch it into modules and this is the module. So let's say the second module now, we're going to call this um, if this is an evergreen program, what's October 2023, create your module, or you could put here, so you could do it by month, or perhaps you could do it by um, starting your XYZ. So this is the foundation unit. And then you might put a lesson underneath that. 
The whole purpose of showing this to you in this way is to let you know it's very flexible. You can create a membership um, type of offer in here and you can sell it. You can even sell the subscription. You can set it up any way you like. What I really enjoy uh, doing and I had a lot of positive feedback is being able to embed the Zoom call link and also the Calendly links. So each month um, you, under the schedule you might have what is the date today? 15th of October. You might have the 15th of October phone call and the Zoom link, or it might be a recurring Zoom link for every session, but you have a timetable with the time zone that it's in. So it's exactly the same as creating a course, but you're calling it a membership or a subscription, and all you're doing is laying it out um, in a slightly different way. I'm going to take a screenshot of this and upload it to this lesson so you have a copy of it, and then that might give you some ideas when you're creating your own membership or subscription um, type of product for sale. Thank you, and let's go to the next one.